Hi guys, um, okay, this is addressing jewelers out there that um, obviously you're getting into ZBrush because you want to know how to create your jewelry in um, using ZBrush because of the benefits that it can offer such as speed and um, the accuracy of things and with 3D printing getting better and better that's obviously why you have taken this course and you obviously have a lot of experience in jewelry design because you've probably been doing it all manually so you know exactly what you want and what you need to achieve and this is something that I don't know because obviously I haven't been producing jewelry um, for the last sort of 20 years or so like some of you guys that are actually manually making this stuff and know all of the techniques and everything else and I'll hold my hands up and say yep yeah, I don't I'm an expert in using ZBrush and I can do anything you need me to do and this is where my this is where this lecture comes into its own because I want you guys to reach out to me I want you to present me with certain challenges that you can't overcome or that I have not included in the course that should have been included because you need to achieve a an actual result and want to know how to do something in particular this will not only help you it will help me understand what you need and also for me to uh, take on those challenges and um, produce the results that you need for this course so it's really important that um, you contact me and tell me whether um, the course is covering everything that you need to know and certain requirements that you need to know and also any problems that you have with this software now if you're uh, a jeweler and you've never you really used ZBrush before then uh, there might be certain hurdles or you might be stuck on a certain thing and uh, you might think oh that's probably really basic I don't want to ask that question please ask that question if you get stuck that's the whole point of this course is not only for you to pay the money and do this course but also for you to get on um, actual asking questions on how to achieve things that makes it uh, worth every penny that you spent um, and also it'll help everybody else out as well so questions are key are real key to um, this course becoming the best course online on jewelry design um, I really hope that you reach out to me and ask me questions or even tell me if it's really helping you or challenges you faced with the course or doing things on your own so it's really important really important that you get on the jewelry Facebook group and you post your questions on there or you reach out to me uh, personally where I can do help videos in this section and um, answer those questions or include them in the course syllabus themselves as a new section so again really important I had a question from one guy who was asking how we can do variations on a ring design which I'm putting into section 11 um, of the course so make sure you check that out on variation on ring sizes uh, I guess a lot of you are doing custom pieces for people and then you'll just need your one ring size whole size for their finger and you can work from that but obviously you might want to go into mass production with some of the rings that you're doing and you might need to know how to do variations on ring sizes so I'm including that that is directly influenced as well as a few other of the um, sections are directly influenced by students that have actually asked for particular needs but I'm reaching out to you jewelers, jewelers themselves um, who've been doing this for X amount of years and know exactly what you need to get from the program and obviously any challenges I don't want you to become stuck and go oh was he brush is so complicated it's really not well, once you get it under your belt just spend uh, you know a week working with ZBrush over a period of three months and you'll be really up to um, to speed with using this again if you've never used ZBrush before you have to take that uh, pure basics course that's part of the prerequisite for taking this course in the first place but jewelers please reach out for me tell me um, any problems that you're facing with ZBrush as far as creating jewelry is concerned um, not necessarily with rings you know you might want pendants you might want earrings you uh, a load of things that you might ask me a question about relating to this and it's important that you get those questions over to me so I thought I'd do this little lecture reaching out directly to you guys that are actually doing this professionally for your business um, 
it's just so important really important so um be posting this on the facebook group so hopefully you guys will look at this and um have a look and definitely definitely ask me questions and give me challenges challenges to overcome because obviously i've not faced every challenge and i want to see if i'm able to do everything that you guys want me to be able to do in this course so hopefully i'll hear from you soon and uh, if i'm not it means i'm doing the right thing all the way through that's why i'm making this as comprehensive as possible but um yep yeah, hoping and looking forward to you asking me some questions this free lecture is brought to you by mojo mojo design and is a lecture from my jewelry design in zbrush 2019 next generation techniques course to be found in the, on the link below so if you want to check this course out you can visit uh, my site at courses.mojomojodesign and there you'll find full information about this very very in-depth course these are the sections and the lectures of this course it's absolutely huge and i'm adding to it all the time